from the Matty Cedo Field here on the campus of Riverdale High School. WCTV is proud to present high school football. A great game tonight between the Cardinals of Westwood and the Hawks of Riverdale. Larry LaFury along with John Francola and Jimmy Avitable will be on the field. John, Riverdale always presents a problem. They come in well coached by uh, Nymphius, Coach Nymphius. They come with you offensively with five, six running backs, a kid who can throw the ball very well. They have a great defense and a defense that you love, 3-5. They're going to be a major challenge, and they're an outstanding team coming off a dramatic win last week down in, uh, I think, Bridgewater. Well, Larry, you're absolutely correct. Uh, not only that game was great, but also the game where they were, they were behind against a very good Ramsey team. And that young man, wait till you see Dylan Connolly. This young man, what a job he had. He had over 210 yard rushing. The young man is a junior. What they run here, Larry, what I love is the triple option. I know uh, Jimmy will talk about that, the way they able to do it. And they have two or three backs and you don't know who's gonna get the ball. They all can run. And of course, when you look at this team, um, it's a team that needs the point. Whoever wins the game will get at least 20 or 21 points, depending Westwood and Riverdale, for that big honor at the end of the year. And now we talk about Westwood. They come in scoring 40 points a game. Jimmy Avitavale, great offense, sound defense. They bring many of the players on defense back that they had last year. They're the defending group two champions. Vito Campanelli, the coach here, they're running on all eight cylinders. They have to play a very good game to beat this team tonight. You can talk to that. Yeah, you mentioned uh, Westwood, the 4-0, defending state champions. And uh, they're in part three of the three toughest games they're going to face all year. It was Mawa, Richfield Park in a battle last Thursday night, and now Riverdale. So if they can come through here and pick up a win, a very tough game, they'll be sitting in perfect position to get that number one seed. And Westwood comes in, gentlemen, with something that we rarely see. We have a two-headed quarterback that come in for Westwood. Hopkins and uh, Saunders, and they se seems to be working uh, for this team when they, the running and the passing of both these young men, John. Well, they're excellent, and uh, again, one of your quarterbacks is he has the most yards rushing. Uh, that's uh, number five. Uh, you'll see him join, throwing the ball, running the ball, and of course, we also have the receiver. We have to talk about Nolan Borgeson. He has one. He has only one more title to get. He needs 10 touchdowns to tie it, 11 to be. Every record of a receiver will be in his back pocket. The young man was going to Boston College. And, but, again, Westwood tonight, the heart and soul of the game is going to be number 44, Brandon Gallagher. This is the young man that needs to come out and have a big game. Now, what does Westwood need to do to win tonight, John? Well, they, they have to play outstanding defense. They have to control the uh, the quarterback, you know, the young man can do anything. He can throw the ball. He can run with the ball. And, of course, they can't turn the ball over. they got to keep uh, number 44 in the game. He's got a little bit of a pull. He's got to use him wisely. And you got to throw the ball, open it up, and throw the ball to Borgen. And, Jim, to you, Riverdale, great team, great great coach. They come with you with five, six running backs, three, five defense. What do they have to do to win the game? Well, Riverdale's got to come out and establish that uh, veer option attack. It all starts with the fullback, fake to the fullback or give to the fullback. Westwood's got to shut down. And now we, we talk about that outstanding quarterback with the options. So it's a three-phase attack by Riverdale. You have to shut all three, assignment football on defense. And Riverdale with that 3-5, they love to blitz from all different angles. Last year, Westwood did an outstanding job picking it up, and it's going to be on the offensive line tonight of Westwood to pick it up again. A great game here at Riverdale. Both teams have played each other tough over the years. They're well coached, both teams. They got great athletes. The crowd is filing in. It's a little early today when they play 6 o'clock. We're here to cover the game. We hope you enjoy it. So sit back and enjoy the outstanding game between Westwood and Riverdale.
We're here for the game now. See the uh, the lights are on. There's a overcast sky. Expecting rain later on in the in the evening. Riverdale has won the toss. They have elected to receive. Westwood will kick from right to left, and the crowd is still filing in, as you might expect for a, a six o'clock game. Jim Abitabli is on the field. John Frank Kohler is here in the booth calling it with me. Jim, the uh, any sense on the field, the electricity, uh, nervousness, what's going on on the far side there? Well, this is the third week in a row. Two weeks ago, Mawa, last week, Richfield Park. It certainly has another playoff atmosphere. And uh, I guess both teams are a little anxious and ready to go. 
Well, John, we're ready to roll here. These two teams have played over the years, and they've played some great games. You know, Larry, uh, you look deep. Uh, I see number eight, uh, Matt Lanza, ran one back a uh, game ago for 85 yards, so the young man can run. But everybody on this Riverdale team is quick. They are, and they come with you with five different uh, with runners. The quarterback is Dylan Connolly, and he runs the ball very well. They have Andrew Tomino, Matt Lanza, as John just mentioned, Mac, Max Weber, Dan Natasi, and uh, Charles Connell. He gets in there, too. So they'll run at you with uh, multiple running backs and different formations, try to confuse the defense, and we are ready. Bounce around on a five. Yeah, about there. Mural has. And Mural is hit and dropped very quickly after he gets to about the 15 yard line where the Golden Hawks of Riverdale will take over first and 10 here as the crowd continues to pile in. Mike Napolitano made the stop on that, so number 34 to stop on that kickoff. Tomino will come in, number 34. He'll be one of the star running backs. We'll pick up the rest of the players here. Chris Weber is in as a flanker. Max Weber is a running back. And it all starts with number 22, Dylan Conley. Strong to the right, Conley's calling signals. Conley hits, keeps the ball as he goes around the left, the left side and he is dropped right away. Looks like- uh, Number three for uh, Steven Baez. Baez plays very well for Westwood. Now Westwood's going to start number 44, Gallagher. He has a bad, uh, bad leg. I think they're gonna start him at the uh, defense but not on offense. Yeah, you got to serve, he's got, I think he's got a, like a pull, right? A pull, uh, uh, yeah, pull. In the back uh, muscle there and yeah. to pitch out here. And quickly tackled is number 21, Jack. Jake Fletcher is going to bring up third and long. For Westwood, very quickly, the uh, ends are going to be a Gagliotto and we're going to check who that is, number seven, who's playing for uh, Munoz, who's been injured. Saunders and Cruz sites will be the tackled. Larry, just to let you know, Borgeson made that stop that time, number four. Third and long. Tackle. Conley wants a run. He's rushing. He's going to the outside. He has some room, and he is dropped. Going to be short of a first down. Do you go on this one? <laughs> <laughs> going to be third. Going to be fourth down and maybe three yards to go nah, as you Westwood holds up. But 22 at any time can go the distance, having over 200 yards against a very good Ramsey team. How about a fake punt right here? No. <laughs> anything is done, anything's possible with DJ Nymphius. You're anything. right, you're absolutely correct. That's a perfect name for the coach, right? Nymphius. Westwood is DJ. not, the, Westwood's uh, playing it that they might run, they'll do something. There's your kick, high end over again, it's gonna bounce. The ball takes a good hop. Well, nice Borgensen stop stops it. Borgensen's up to the 40, stays on his feet, still on his feet as he gets close to midfield. Ball fumbled. fumbled, and it looks like Riverdale has it. They right. think they have it. I heard a whistle, guys. It was probably no, down. they said the, the foot was down. It looks like I see the referee uh, pointing. Well, you know, Riverdale was saying it was theirs, but the referee and the <laughs> official didn't say anything, and they're giving the ball to Westwood. What do you think, Jim? You see anything that far side? Line? Did, no, no, wait a second. They just switched. Wait a minute, something's going on. What are we gonna find out here? <laughs> well, the referees are now meeting in the field and they're talking about it. Oh, look at this, they switched it. They switched it. So I guess the Riverdale kids were right. It was a fumble they recovered. So a fumble by Morganson <laughs> at about the 46 yard line. And obviously we couldn't see it from up here since all the players for- uh, Right. The Golden Hawks were blocking our view. One, one official gave it to Westwood, that one come running in and emphatically said, no, it goes to River, Riverdale, and I think that's what, the, Riverdale, and I think that's what they uh, decided. Conley's on the center. So the first break goes to uh, yeah, Fletcher Riverdale. Had, big hole on a trap, and he gets about eight yards as Weber goes for eight. And stopped by Hull, Evan Hull, a saving stop. So Riverdale has a second down and three yards to go. It's like on the, what, 38 yard line. 38 yard line. That was a nice inside trap. Oh, they went power, you know. Look at that, now they have number 44, who's as a long fullback getting There's the ball. your fullback, number 44, as you call him, John. Matt Mon uh, Monaghan. Monaghan's up, he's very close, could be a first down. Looks like it. 
wait for the referee's uh, signal. And definitely by, I say, by about a half a yard. Yeah, he got it. So Monaghan picked up the first down. So that mojo after that turnover is on the side of the Golden Hawks. <laughs> so it's first down now. <laughs> Conley calling signals. He's in the shotgun now. Tuminelli's on the wing. Now no, he's outside in a slot. Weber's in motion. The ball is found around, and Conley saves it at the 45-yard line. So that's a sack. I you would call that, well, yes, I guess you, no, it'd be a fumble, I guess. Well, Steve Baez made the stop. <laughs> Even though once the ball is down and he's down, it's over. So a second down, very quickly, Riverdale comes to the line of scrimmage. They're looking at a second and 20 as the ball has to get to its 29. Should be a passing situation. Holy 15, <laughs> you think? Yeah. Well, or a fake and let number 20, could be movement on that one. <laughs> Off the side, nothing. As Westwood's right left side stops it. Kuskis right there. Right in there. Number 40, Wukuski's there. That kid is some ball player as a, as a sophomore. And number three that time, Baez in there once again. He's been on the ground knocking people over. So now it's third and very long for Riverdale. They gotta try to capitalize on this, uh, on this fumble. Third and very long, I believe. Unless they had to make no yard, this is four downs. Conley wants, looks, throws, has a man Play wide open. open, and he drops the ball! Oh, my goodness. Whoa! So, uh, who is it, Weber? Weber no. dropped a sure touchdown there, John. There was nobody there. Yeah, that, was, that was six. <clears throat> oh, Weber had. So that big cardinal in the sky pulled that string for them. <laughs> no mod. <laughs> Riverdale had the formation they wanted. Oh, absolutely. I think the jitters between the both teams are gonna to have to settle down now. Well, you can see that. You had a fumble by Borgeson, and now this completion should have been a completion at touchdown. Snap comes back, kick is high in the air to the right side. Ball is bouncing away, oh, is and go. it's gonna go into the end, end zone, zone for a touchback. So Westwood will take over. They'll get the ball with seven minutes and 47 seconds to go. There is no score here in Riverdale. This is a, these are the cheerleaders of Riverdale. You are watching WCTV, the old volunteer group from the township of Washington, Bergen County, New Jersey. Westwood's coming up. Looks Borgeson time right here, it looks like, on the outside. Saunders? Yeah, Saunders running. Let me see if I can pick up. We have Saunders, number five, and Zach Hopkins, number 23, will alternate with quarterbacks. Brandon Gallagher will not start at fullback. Bukuski will, number 40. Evan Hull is a wide receiver. Of course, number four, Nolan Borgens and John highlighted his career at Westwood. Bellion is the other wide receiver. And Chris Bias. Weber made the stop that time for uh, Golden Hawks. So it's second down and six. And quick hit it there. And Saunders taken down. down by Saunders. Let so me pick up, looks like 79. Looks like it. You gotta get used. 79, oh, that's the number one defensive player, Jack McNaren. He's the young man that really makes this defense go. So third 79. down and 10. This is a passing situation here. You know, Golden, the Golden Hawks are definitely big on defense. Look, they're big up front. Oh, yeah. They sure are. Ball's on a 20, third and 10. Up the middle. That was a good fake to Borgeson. And Saunders is going to be a yard short of the first down. Excellent call that time. You notice everybody followed number four, Borgeson. They did. <laughs> So fourth down and two yards to go, so that's gonna bring up a uh, kicking for Westwood, but you never know the Campanelli's. The Campanelli's, you know, this is a place where they say, you know what, we can get two yards. Look at this, they're going for it. They are going for it. We always tell the story how uh, Mike Campanelli went, what, 13 times? 18, 18 times, times against first the Comets. <laughs> and made 16 of them. Yeah, and, and lost, lost the game. And lost the game. <laughs> and, <laughs> Let's see if Westwood wants to play or they just try to, they're gonna run it. And it's not gonna oh, work. Boy, look at this. Great defense. <laughs> Stop. Uh, Westwood is stopped. 
That was uh, Rakowski, uh, number 40, I believe, with the ball. Right. Right. And stopped by the right side of that defense. The Golden Hawks hold. And they come. So Rakowski tried to get two yards and stop inside. Riverdale did a great job. Zach Pasuda was in there on the uh, tackle. So now Riverdale, who's had the better of the play here in the first uh, six, seven minutes of the game, will have the ball first and 10 on the 29 yard line. There is no score here. You know, they've had two outstanding situations. Busada did a great job. He's another one of the big defensive players for the Golden Hawks. Rivers in motion. Hand off. Conley is going to hang on to the ball. Gets away. He's got room on the right a side. Room. He's going down the sideline. One, one man cuts inside, goes to the goal line, to the three yard line. A great individual run by Conley. 26 yards on that play. It was a, a tackle was missed, and the young man reversed his field and went 26 yards, knocking on the door for the Golden Hawks. Jimmy, what did you see down there on that play? Well, he's had that two guys, five two guys were on him. They missed the tackle, the back side of the deep over pursued, and he just cut it back. And once he broke that tackle on the left, right, left side and came around the right, there was no, no one there. First and goal for Riverdale. There goes to Manini, throws back outside the weapon. He is hit and dropped. What a nice play by Borgensen. That's the second tackle for Borgensen in this game. So he, that's a loss of a yard, gonna bring up a second and goal from the four. Well here, you gotta hope that Westwood can just hold them for a field goal. They have an outstanding kicker, by the way, for the Golden Hawks. We'll see if that happens. Gonna pass. Incomplete. Thrown out here to the right side. A quick down and out. Into from Weber. Guys, they seem to want to attack the corner for Westwood 34. 34 is uh, Napolitano. So now it's third down and four yards to go. Conley Collins going to get signals from uh, DJ Nymphius. Big spread this time, giving a lot of room to number 22 to run here. Let's see. Went inside, inside. fighting, fighting, fighting. Close. And no fourth call down. there. No call. They're checking where the fourth. individual that. No. It's going to be fourth down and about maybe less than a yard. Oh, wait, somebody just, somebody signal a touchdown over there. Down it, the far side. Maybe not. No, I don't know. No, I don't know why he had his hands up. I, I think don't he was know just, why. He was an Italian saluted. He was a side judge. <laughs> Connolly goes to the line of scrimmage. He fights his way in, and it's a touchdown. The nearest judge called the touchdown. So, with four minutes and 24 seconds to go on a quarterback keep, Dylan Connolly bangs it in, and Riverdale takes a six to nothing lead with the PAT. Jo uh, Jimmy? Yeah, so far it's been a, a bunch of mistakes for Westwood. A fumble, uh, a fourth down, non-conversion. And spell is a six points, and maybe a seven point mark right here. Here's your kick, it's up, it's high enough, deep enough, and it is. No good. No good, why? So Westwood now trailed six to nothing with 424 to go, and they will be receiving Riverdale's kickoff. You are watching WCTV, the old volunteer group from the township of Washington. We're waiting for the uh, kickoff here. Morganson's back. Kick is coming down to the right side. Taken by Bellion, I believe. A little bit of a hole right oh, there. Oh, it's a hole there. And across the... Zach Bellion gets the ball up to the 35-yard line. Westwood will take over. First and 10, trailing 6 to nothing here in the first quarter. Everybody here in the press box talking about the official raising his hand in the back. <laughs> he might have thought it was a touchdown and got the wrong information from the uh, side judges. And he was, he was yeah. a back judge. Kobe Burke made the stop on that. Bellion looked like he had a lot of room in the middle. Borgensen comes out to, way out to the left, trips to the left. There's gonna be a blitz. Out here to Borgensen. He's got some room as he slips and pulls his way. First down. Across the 45 for a first down. About 12 yards on the play. And somebody lost their hat, so Borges will have to go out one one play, I believe. Let's see. Yes, he does. Yeah, you go out. When the hat comes off, you got to take a break. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, rule in football. That's a good rule. I agree. Because you don't know why it came off, number one. And secondly, 
That young man could have been hit pretty hard, and you want to make sure he's got the opportunity to get out. Saunders is in. He'll be quarterbacking. The interchangeable parts, a two-quarterback system for the Cardinals. He also leads the team in rushing touchdown. So Saunders. bang up the middle with seven, with I believe. Husky. The uh, sophomore sensation. Picks up, yep. Picks up about three and a half or four. four. Leads the team. Second and six, John. Leads the uh, team in tackles. Number 40, the sophomore. Jim, what are you seeing down there? Well, obviously, right now, Rivadell is loading the box up. I think you expect them to try to get the ball to Nolan Borges and make Rivadell start defending the field. You got one-on-one -on -one out there on num number four, guarded by Weber. So Borges and Weber on the way outside. It looks like a down and out. And pass is thrown incomplete wide for Borges. Looks like Hopkins just lost the ball out of his hand. Yeah. There. Like he might have slipped when he planted. So it's going to bring up a third down. Well, you got to go back. Got to have another pass play here. You're looking at, uh, what, about seven yards? At least seven, yeah. Right That's around midfield. Saunders runs out to the right. Bellion out to the left. Borgensen is in the slot. And they tried to set up a screen on a blitz. And there was a lot of room out there, Larry. But the ball was underthrown, the, yep. The blitz forced the play, so nice defensive stand by Riverdale. Forces Westwood into a, a kicking formation. Cycle will kick for Westwood. Connolly will drop back for Riverdale. Ball's in play, they're getting ready now. Teams are set. Snap comes back very nicely. Cycle kicks very, very high in the air. Coming down, takes a bounce, and will roll out of bounds around the 20 yard line where Riverdale will take over. First and 10 with three minutes, eight seconds, three minutes and four seconds to go. They lead Westwood six to nothing here on the campus of Riverdale High School. You again watching WCTV, the all volunteer group from the township of Washington. That last play, that third and eight, they were trying to set up the, the tight end screen to number one, Evan Hull. To pitch to the outside, and let's see who got that. Lanza, maybe, maybe two yards on that yeah, play. Maybe two yards on that was Lanza picked up two, second down. Yeah, I don't know if that play would have worked in if they hit the Hull. I'm not too sure they had enough uh, defenses, but the, uh, the blitz from the uh, right, Westwood's right side broke up the uh, broke up that play. You may see them fake that and throw the ball on a, on a uh, fly pattern to Borgeson next time. Fletcher's way out to the left there. I mean, he's way out there. Yeah. Conley going around. Got that quick some room. step. And he gets across the 25, to spot him at the 27, 28 yard line. Looks like number 44, uh, Gallagher. Gallagher yeah. made the stop. Third and short now for. Uh, I like the way they run their offense, very quick. You're seeing a lot of this, even in the pros, that muddle, huddle they call. Yeah. They, uh, you know, they have many options there, and 22 can take it to the house anytime he gets the ball. Follows his blocking very well. Connolly calling signals. Quick hand, hand off. And the line pushes forward. Let's see what the spot, I don't think it's going to be enough for Close, a first down. but not, not we're going to have, we're going to have it's a... It's going to be the spot. I don't think so. It's going to be fourth down. Now, will Nymphius go for it on fourth down? I don't, I would say he doesn't. He's going for it. Well, they're <laughs> hopeful. I'm over two now. <laughs> and well, you know what? The way the spot is, it's fourth and a half. Yeah. You know, you're just going to go straight up. They'll try to get a five-yard penalty and then just going to go with a power straight up the middle with 22. Here's your power. He has got it. Gain about a half a yard. Yeah, he did. And a first down. Could be Tumino. Tumino got Tumino. it? Tumino. Yeah, yeah Tumino got it. Tumino's got nice size. About 210 pounds. Yep. So Tumino picked up the half a yard. And Riverdale 
moves the chains and picks up another set of downs. So first and 10 now from Riverdale. Trips to the right. <laughs> Look at this. Oh yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna show you that he's got outside. He's gonna, yeah. But watch 22 go for a little, a little skate to the left side. <laughs> yeah, send everybody to the right and I'll run left. Right. Uh-oh, we're gonna, I have no Time idea. Out. Looks like there's a timeout on the field. A timeout on the field, so with 1.34 to go in the first quarter, Riverdale leads Westwood 6 to nothing here on the campus of Riverdale High School. You are watching WCTV, the all-volunteer group from the township of Washington as you look at uh, Coach, Coach Nymphius. He gave, he put his arms out like said, what's going on, boys? <laughs> we don't have that play. We don't have that play. Look at these talking Get another to play. <laughs> he says, wait a minute, what are we doing here? And then all of a sudden, he decided to take a little walk. <laughs> Guys, I think that was the quarter. All right. <laughs> that was the, oh boy. That was a quick, no, it's 1.34 to go. Not official. 